back from a small There it was. There.
you can either choose to leave it like this to park your animals, or we are going on. So, first things first. I'm gonna try and get this to clip. Onto this. Come on. Hey, I want you to, buddy. Okay, well, we'll try something. So with this here, you can do it like this. If I could get it to lock in place. Well, nothing wants to seem to be working tonight. Well, I will be improvising. Alright, well, let's finish the circle first. circle I am putting up small wires such as Pelagornis and or Pteranodon so you can make it too wide. You can make it too deep and then you can put railings up around it with flags decorating. There's always happy little mistakes that you can always improvise to make it look good. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go here, trying to It's hooking there. Won't hook there, there, or there. Okay, well, improvise, and it's going this way then. No! And what you can do is take artifacts and or lights and put them in here or in here just to give it a little bit more of a lighting You can also carry your smaller animals up here. I'm about to show you another little So now it looks a little bit more like a rim of a flower pot this way. And 
And now we need to figure out where the ramps are going up inside so we can make another ramp up. So, going up here. So, right in here somewhere. So, I need to put. Your hope that did it. Good enough. Just destroy these. And then you can want to take this away, of course. Whoops. Whoops again. Oh, uh, where are my ceilings? So you can go around the rim with the ceilings. And take away these pole cookies. And this one here needs to go. And gets replaced. There we go. Got a hatch frame up now. Where is the hatch frames? It's right there. So you can just open that straight up. Did it even... So, here you go. You can use stairs and stuff too, but if you want to bring your small flyers down in here, you can just bring them on down and walk on up. And there's your Quetzals, Wyverns, whatever you want up here. And your Pteranodons can go around here. Or you can make it wider and just put this closer to the middle or whatever, just to make it um, more accommodating to you. You can do whatever twist you want. It's just just a nice build overall. It looks like a flower pot, like I said it would. And um, all that is left to do is the railings. And then later on in another video, in a day or so, or maybe even a week, I will do the interior decorating. I just have to go and get all the interior decorations done. Alright, so let's get cooking with the railings. So, I need a couple hundred railings. Uh, I grabbed Vince Foundations. <laughs> Looks like railings, I didn't read it. There's the railings. There we go. Alright, time to go at it. do that too. I need to put in the doors. Oops. Do we get done with the railing? I need to go in and take care of that.
to the right thing, silly. So let's go on inside and go first level. So right here is where you're going to want your door. This is the tricky part. It's wanting to clip to a different one. Let's see what happens if I demolish it. Oh, I had it clipped. No. Don't be a pain. Don't be a pain. Okay. Come on. There we go. We did it. This way you can just walk on out. Making boo boos. also really love about this area. It has a natural lighting, so if you don't want to put in colored lights or anything to shine inside, this is 100% got a light all the time with the glowing mushrooms down here.
So a little over 200 rings. And there we have it, the flower pot base. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you next week for another Ark Survival Evolved building tutorial with Queen Goddess 93. Bye bye!